Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the English New Urban Food radio, television stations, and newspaper. We have top story today. Bình Phước, a ethnic minority youngster starting a business. Result from growing coffee in Resume 720. Experts highlight Vietnam positive economics outlooks. Quảng Nam Ghost Dash Festival leads a national intangible cultural heritage. Many U.S. Indian member and young people from ethnic minority group in Quang Minh Khmer's Chiang Thanh district have found success in starting a business. After finishing high school, they first chose to become a hairdresser and makeup artist. Who was recommended by the Quang Minh Khmer Youth Union to attend vocational training and given a loan of 20 million Vietnamese dong from the Bank for Social Policies to open a hairdressing saloon. After two years, Fu has a stable number of customers and intends to offer vocational training for young people in difficult circumstances. Quang Minh Khmer currently has 460 youth union members, of which nearly 70% are from ethnic minority groups. Accommodating the youngsters, the Quang Minh Khmer Youth Union surveys their needs to offer timely advice. The youth union also actively implemented a program from the Bank for Social Policies, offering loans for 18 young people. Leader from the Furing District People Committee recently visited school in the area of two Bunyo communes. According to decision number 379, dated March 11, 2022, from the Furing District People's Committee, approving a list of investments in educational projects using provincial capital. In the first phase this year, the district will support the contractions of 70 classrooms. In both the first and second phases this year, Furian District will invest in building some 120 classrooms, of which 90 will be completed this year and the remainder in 2023. When visiting Furian Kindergarten, Furian A Primary School, Furian B Primary School, and Bu Nha Primary School, district leaders assess the land area as the locations of classrooms and administrative offices to ensure construction quality. Regiment 720 in Army 16 under the Ministry of Defense has been implementing a sustainable coffee development program since 2010 and has achieved remarkable results. Scientific and technical advances have been applied on more than 70% of the coffee growing area such as changing varieties and grafting to replace old coffee areas. The area in Regiment 720, where only low-yield coffee varieties are being replaced by new ones or granted with new varieties, had reached more than 70%. Average years are 16 to 20 tons per hectare, or 6 to 8 tons per hectare higher than for old varieties. After more than 10 years of planting new coffee varieties, Regiment 720 boasts high economic efficiency as the new varieties have also been introduced by others in the area. Improving old coffee trees with bud grafting is very simple and fast. With good disease resistance, cost savings and improvements to productivity and output, Regiment 720 Sustainable Coffee Development Program has been recognized by the City and Army Command. The model has been widely replicated and applied in other units in the Army as a whole. Ladies and gentlemen, Vietnam is poised to emerge strongly from the COVID-19 pandemic and play itself firmly on the radar of foreign investors. Buoyed by uh, rapid industrialization and a fast-growing middle class. 
according to an article posted recently in Asian Investor, which focuses on the region's investment industry. The optimism is based on the strong economic foundation, built over a decade of steady GDP growth, averaging 6% annually until 2019. Despite the pandemic setbacks in the last two years, new trends and inflation, the outlook is positive. The article reads, Meanwhile, the World Bank predicts Vietnam's economy is grow at 5.5% in 2022, while the IMF projects a higher 6.6%, up from 2.6% in 2021. In addition, BCG, the Singapore subsidiary of Vietnam Capital, projected that Vietnam's GDP may grow by more than 7% this year. Deputy Prime Minister Le Vang Than has signed a decision approving a project to sustainably develop macadamia cultivation and processing in the 2021-2030 period with a vision to 2050, which aims to turn macadamia into a strong export product. Under the scheme, macadamia export value is hoped to reach about 400 million US dollars in 2030 and about 2 by 5 billion US dollars in 2050, with the percentage of macadamia in sales being less than 40%. In 2030, macadamia nut output is expected to reach about 130,000 tons, which will increase to about 500,000 tons in 2050. The country aims for 130,000 to 150,000 hectares of macadamia farm by 2030, mostly in northwestern and central highlands regions. Starting from March the 14th, Japan had relaxed its COVID-19 border control and allowed entry by international students. The Japanese government also decided to implement an emergency program for foreign students affected by COVID-19, which has been warmly welcomed by Vietnamese students. Japan is one of the most attractive countries for international students, especially those from Asia, including Vietnam. The number of Vietnamese students choosing to pursue higher education in the land of the rising sun has increased significantly over the years. After a long hiatus due to COVID-19, the Japanese government is now accepting entry permits for international students, including Vietnamese students. This policy will help a lot of students come to Japan and enroll on time, so they don't have to study online. Many have been accepted in Japanese schools, but have been unable to come to Japan and begin their studies. I'm very thankful for the Japanese government's policy. The Japanese government will also launch an emergency grant program for foreign students facing economic difficulties from the pandemic. Eligible students will receive 10,000 Japanese yen or 860 US dollars per person in cash, which will be transferred to beneficiaries by the end of March following approval. I have received the subsidy. It helps me a great deal in my studies because I couldn't find any part-time work during the pandemic. It allows me to dedicate more time to my studies. I very much welcome this policy because it will help new international students in Japan overcome the difficulties. On National Reunification Day next April the 30th, visitors can explore many cultural events at Shengtai Our Fortress Citadel, the new pedestrian zone in Hanoi. The zone also aims to promote the image of the Sontai Fortress, a military base built by King Ming Mang in 1822 to protect Tanglam Imperial Citadel. It also promises to become a space for entertainment, culture and tourism. It is scheduled to open from 7 p.m. Saturday until noon on Sunday, with competitory art performances, street music, folk dance, portrait painting, calligraphy, boat racing, fishing and water puppetry. In the near future, Hanoi is expected to have a number of other walking spaces to boost tourism. The Thubong Goddess Festival in Yixing District of Central Guangnam Province has been recognized as part of National Intangible Cultural Heritage. 
The festival shows respect for and gratitude to the river goddess and ancestors for the land exploration and village establishment, which led the foundation for following generations to settle down and develop. It also reflects the solidarity of Cham, Gudu and King ethnic groups living in the upper river basin. The Tubon Goddess Festival features precious human values and is deeply imbued with traditional belief, history and culture. The vitality of the festival comes from locals' aspirations for good weather, bumper crops and national peace. The festival is held from the 10th to 12th days of the second lunar month annually, which falls on March 12th to 14th this year. That's all for new today. Thanks for your watching BBTV News. Goodbye and see you next time. Thank you.